Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over the process of how to choose a save destination for your Google Form. Now, this is really important for when you might want to further organize your Google Drive so that certain Google Forms appear in certain folders. What more, it can also really help you kind of easily navigate how your Google Drive will go and where to easily find certain Google Forms. So in case other people want to access them, you can actually just give them a folder or direct them to a certain area in your Google Drive, which basically also streamlines the process all the more. Okay, so let's just pick one of our random Google Forms because at this point, we're more interested in showing you where to save it more so than the content itself. So any of these will actually do. Let's just do our event registration form. Okay, so let's say you're happy with how your Google form currently looks and you've had all the questions added and it's basically in its final form. Now, in order to move the folder in which it is currently saved, we have multiple methods for that. So first method is for you to head over to the upper left corner where beside the title of your form, you will see a folder button. And if you hover your mouse over, it should read move to folder. Once you hit this button, as you can see, It'll show you all where it is currently saved and what other files are currently saved alongside it. At the top, you will also see possible folders where you can save it if they are currently in existence. So typically, your Google Form is generally saved in your Google Drive overall folder, homepage, basically whatever you want to call it. And generally, what you can do is if you want to make it more specific, you can put it in a specific folder, or if you head to the bottom of this menu, you can create a new folder where this Google form will then be located. From here, you can then just create the folder, change the name, and once you're happy with that, you can hit the check mark button, create a new folder, and your folder will be created, and all you gotta do is hit the move here button so that this form, event registration 2 in our case, will be moved to this folder. You will then get a notification up here. It says that it has been moved to the drive, the corresponding drive, and the corresponding folder that you've chosen. And if you're happy with it, you can just dismiss it. If you want to change your mind, you can also hit undo. In this case, I've just let it go because I currently do want it saved in this folder. And also, if you just want to check it again, just feel free to hit this folder button so that you can see which folder it is currently saved at. Now, another way to move your Google Form is to do it directly through the drive. So remember, all of your files are currently saved on your Google Drive, meaning that if you were to simply go to your general drive folder, you should see pretty much everything. In this case, as you can see, our pre-existing folder is already here from when we had tried to move it. So for this purpose, we're going to see if we can move it back to the main folder or the general homepage folder of Google Drive and out of this folder. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is try to select your Google Form and you're going to want to right click it. So in this case, we right click it. And as you can see, you do have the option to move to, as you can see with the folder with the arrow, there's a move to option right here. If you hit that, you'll be then given a similar pop up. Let me just do that again. Where you can then choose to move it somewhere else. In this case, if you want to move it back to the same general folder or the same general home page of the Google Drive, you can hit the back folder. Let me just turn that off. That is okay. Okay. Um, we'll do that again. Hit move to go back. And as you can see, your move here option should glow blue when you actually are on a different folder where you can move it. In this case, we moved it to the general drive. And since we want to do that, we're going to hit move here. And as you can see, the form immediately disappears from this folder. And if you head back to the main drive, it should be right. Let's just check it. Yes, it is in the general my drive folder. And that's all you really have to know about moving Google Forms around in your Google Drive. Hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to data collection, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.